Reese here with Adore Her Beauty back with another video and this is part two of my straight hair hirsutism treatment. Part one was the facial wax and this is part two the facial skincare treatment. Now like I said part one has already been up. I've been seeing the comments. I've been seeing people's opinions about that particular video. I'm going to get into some of those things later but for now this is the skincare treatment honestly she didn't need it right she didn't need this treatment in my opinion i think the hirsutism treatment and i try to put this in my description i'm gonna go in and elaborate that service description a little bit more just to help women understand but the hirsutism treatment is really for those individuals who have a lot of ingrowns inflammation like folliculitis uh, for those who have a lot of, um, okay, like I said, like ingrowns, because I've had some clients with skin texture like hers, like the skin looks really, really nice, but at a closer look, you see a lot of ingrowns, and she did have a few ingrowns, but it wasn't to a point to where she couldn't resolve that with home care, right? So I did ask her, I was like, hey, you know, what made you book this treatment? And she was like, basically, she didn't have an attitude, she was like, because I can, you know, because I'm here in the moment, because, you know, I'm from out of town, I'm visiting, and you know, she was like, why not? And I was like, okay, sis, so we gonna get into this treatment today. So she was really just like, I mean, pampering herself. She wanted to treat herself. And at the end of the day, we are able to do what we want to do as grown individuals. So, you know, and then at a, at a closer look at her skin, I was like, you know what, she could benefit from it today. But mainly when I'm thinking of a person who needs this treatment, it's literally somebody that has like a lot of skincare issues going on. But maintenance is always good. So, you know, I'm all for maintenance. So, like I said, she is a regular waxer. She goes somewhere consistently in her hometown. Well, you know, where she resides. And so, this was just a bonus. So, hey, thank you so much for uh, supporting if you're watching. And so, right now, I'm probably doing the second cleanse. You can just tell because, like, it's so much more foam from the cleanser because her skin got all of the oil debris and things off her skin from the first cleanse and now this is like the treatment cleanse the actual cleanse that's going to do the work that i needed it to do i'm using skin scripts green tea cleanser which we already know is great for anti-inflammation and it's great it's like a great daily cleanser for all skin types if you're my first time client getting a treatment like this and i'm not really familiar with your skin this is going to be my go-to cleanser so I'm removing it with a warm gauze. And as you can see, her skin is like absorbing that cleanser. You can just see it kind of vanish right here. And so her skin has like a medium level of absorption. You know, it's not too dry. It's, you know, it could, of course, use a little bit more moisturization, a little bit more moisture, a little more hydration, a.k.a. moisturization. It's moisture and hydration. Put together. I probably made that word up, but who cares? You know what I mean? And so... Now we've done the double cleanse and this is where I actually go in and manually extract any left behind hairs. So of course the wax did its job. The wax did what it was assigned to do. But you, and I'm finding, you have hairs that get caught in between the skin cells. And so you can't see those literally, you know, really rather with the naked eye. But when I separate the skin, I can see those little, little tiny hairs. They could be either A, hairs that have broken off, B, hairs that are in the growing phase. So, you know, if she took her hand and rubbed against her face, she probably wouldn't have noticed the difference. But I'm like knowing what to check for and knowing how to check for it. So I go in with my tweezers and remove those itty bitty hairs that are either one trapped underneath the skin or two just stuck in between the skin cells. And, you know, literally you just have to kind of separate the skin. I hope that makes, that makes sense. You have to kind of separate the skin and get those hairs. And so these are those little bad boys. And it was quite a bit, you know. And so, so many people in the comments of the first video no, I did say I was going to get into it. So this is about halfway through the video. So I'm going to explain it. Uh, but right here, I'm putting on these uh, Skin Scripts Seaweed Mask. This is great for boosting hydration. Just making skin feel real soft and supple. And I love this mask. And I'm going to massage it in after this. But let me get to the, some of the comments that I've read. Right? So as you can see right here, she does have a little hair on her cheek area. And she has hair on her upper and lower lip. 
and you can see the lower lip hair in the video you can see kind of like the, the edge of the lip uh top lip you can see some hair there as well so people are in the comments like saying i should have gotten those hairs i should have given her the courtesy of doing removing those hairs at no charge well if this video is sped up to eight minutes or so but i literally spent a great deal of time doing those hair extractions and not only did i do it the one time that you saw in this video you're going to see me do it a second time but i technically i actually did it three times i just cut the third time out of the video because i mean like it's you see me do it. You don't need to see me do it three times. So I'm like constantly checking for those little bitty hairs. Because I know one, they may not notice them that day after their treatment. But those hairs, if you don't get those hairs, they will start coming up, you know, over the weeks. Like over the next week or next couple of days or so. And I don't want my clients to be feeling like they didn't get like a real, real good clean wax. So I get those little hairs that are kind of popping up or sprouting up. And so... Ultimately, I spent a great deal of time making sure that what she paid for, what she actually booked, was done to utmost perfection. And honestly, I did that. I went above and beyond. I even went below into her neck area. So I had already given her a freebie, <laughs> right? If we're going to go about, you know, you need to be courteous and they'll bang you across the head for money. And like, I'm just money hungry. I've one one first of all money is never my motivation for anything that i do in life money is never my motivation trust and believe money is never my motivation i'm a person that have grown up without very much and so there are more qualities of things in this life that i value more than a dollar so money isn't even the reason why i went into this business i went into this business for other reasons but anyway so now that we know that money isn't the issue time is the issue in this particular scenario so i couldn't just give her any more time than i had already given and so i saw that she had him in her neck of course if she booked the chin area i'm thinking you know well, i'm just going to go ahead and touch right here yeah i could have touched right there but that look at her cheeks that is a lot of hair on her cheeks and the wax as we already know is going to do its job but then there are going to be hairs left behind and me being the meticulous person that i am i wasn't going to want to have her leave with those little hairs in between the skin cells and having to do extraction of manual extraction of those if it called for that. And me not wanting to let her leave like that, even though I'm giving it to her as a bonus at no charge. That would have taken time for me to get her super clean again. And I didn't have that time. So yeah, that's all I got to say about that. But if you enjoyed this video, I thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, tagging someone. I thank you so much for your support. This is Reese with Adore Her Beauty and I'll catch you in the next video.